Yes. KPM. Hello, you're watching Diddy TV KPM for our Success SPN 2022 slot. And as usual, this slot is focused on uh, techniques to help our pupils excel and pass the examination and also with the formatting uh, as well. So before we proceed with this segment, let's first take a look at the teacher's profile. Now you may have guessed that our subject for today is Bahasa Inggris, uh, focusing on speaking skill. But of course, you also notice the teacher as well. And here she is with me, teacher Halimatul. How are you, teacher? I'm fine. Thank you very much, Shafika. What You're looking you? great. I'm Thank fine you. as well. And before we proceed, teacher, I would like to introduce as well our sign language interpreter, who is none other than teacher Shamila Nair. Hello, teacher. How are you doing? All right, she's from SK Pernikahan Khas Jalan Pil Ceras Kuala Lumpur. Thanks for being with us. Now, Teacher Halimato. Yes, Shafika. Speaking skills, what is the focus for today's class, actually? The focus is obviously on speaking. Mm -hmm. To speak, read and understand the questions, and respond immediately as how I'm going to explain later on as we progress in right. our lesson. Mm -hmm. I want not just my pupils mm -hmm. uh, who are with me today, but also all the pupils out there uh, throughout Malaysia from Sabah, Sarawak, all the way to Perlis. You guys must open up and speak. speak. Right, and yes. before we start, as you mentioned, our pupils. Yep. So let's have them here in the studio with us. Hey. Hello, girls. Hi, girls. Can we please know them one by one uh, by you, please? All right, for today, I would like to get Shuenlin to introduce herself and also her friends. Come on, Shuenlin. Because it's a speaking lesson, so I want to hear you speak. All right, Shuenlin. Okay, so I'll start off with myself. Um, I'm Lao Shuenlin from SMK Pusat Bandar Puchong Satu. The one on my right is Vinosha Sandra Sega. She's also from the same school and mm -hmm. the one below me is Doshrina and also the one um, next to Doshrina is Tifia Laksmi. Ah. Hi girls, how do you feel today? Uh, I feel good today. Good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you for that introduction, Shwenlin. Now, I believe they also have to get ready a bottle of water because they're going to be speaking a lot today. Yes. So without further ado, Teacher Halimatul, let's proceed. All right, thank you very much, my lovely host, Shafika. Thank you. Okay, let's start with our very first slide of the day. Mm -hmm. Okay. And of course, um, the reason why I have this up here is so that pupils and also teachers, because I know a lot of teachers, they are not aware, mm -hmm. there are actually four papers that all the pupils have to sit for, for English language exam. Mm -hmm. Okay, and this one is known as the speaking exam. 1119-3, okay? So when you see the code in your books, your reference books, or anywhere you get your materials from, you see, the moment you see 1119-3, that refers to speaking, All okay? All right. All right, now, I have this particular slide up here because I would like to highlight to everyone, especially my pupils at home, the fact that, and I've highlighted in green, actually, mm -hmm. okay, the fact that there is only 24 marks, even though it looks like meh, just 24 marks. But look at the percentage or wajaran in Malay, okay? Because this is taken from the booklet that's mm -hmm. produced by Lembaga Pendidikan Malaysia. Okay. Um, in fact, it's available. Anyone can have access to it to go and know more about what's the format of the current KSSM English syllabus. Mm -hmm. All right. So we have four papers stroke one, stroke two, stroke three, which we are focusing on today, and stroke four, which is listening. And if you look at number five, I've you know highlighted it also. Every single 
exam mm -hmm. is equal 25 percent okay let me get back to the 24 marks all right uh, just now i went yeah people will say hey it's just 24 marks mm -hmm. oh nothing much but those of you who are um, gifted in maths unlike me mm -hmm. okay <laughs> you can know that that's the most important of all the other skills because right. Can you imagine 25 percent, not 25 marks, all right? Mm -hmm. 25 percent falls 100 percent heavily on the 24 marks that you will be awarded. Right. How are you going to get those marks? I will explain more later. Mm -hmm. But right now, if you look at the other uh, papers, mm -hmm. paper one, 40 marks, paper two, 60 marks, paper three, 24 and paper for 30 marks. Mm -hmm. So even though it looks like, wow, the writing paper carries a lot of marks, 60, which is true because you have three questions to answer, three essays to write, but we only take 25%. Percent. Yes. So even if you score the full, the perfect 60, it will only be 25%. Mm -hmm. I think if the girls can quickly do their marks, uh, their maths, okay, they will know that what is 25% or 60? I don't know because I didn't do the maths. Mm -hmm. Maybe some of you guys at home can respond to that. But what I'm trying to say here and highlight and really make it clear to everybody out there, for each mark that you get for speaking, you will get equally 1%. Okay, yeah. so if you do not speak, if you just remain silent, because I know a lot of pupils, it's not just in slang, oh, because I'm also, uh, all teachers are also assessors actually nowadays. Mm. Every teacher will have to go out and assess or be an interlocutor at the school. We will have to give marks. Every mark counts, and from the experience that I had last year, Shafika, mm -hmm. Um, and I was in a school around my area, which is Puchong area, Subang right. area, you know. Uh, but I've had a lot of pupils who do not even want to respond to basic questions. Mm. And we couldn't award any marks at all. And for me, that is such a shame because it's 25% from a hundred percent right okay? so ladies and lot. gentlemen boys and girls mm -hmm. please 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 speak okay? okay all right okay let's move on to the next one okay so I'm gonna start off with a basic checklist which we will look at at the end of the show also mm -hmm. you need to know the structure of the test you need to know uh, how many questions you're going to get okay so we're going to look at them today all right, and make sure you answer all the questions. You need to prepare, but you do not need to memorize answers. And you can't actually memorize, Shafika, mm -mm. because we don't know what questions are going to be asked. Yeah. Um, the questions will be based on the themes that the students or the pupils have been exposed to throughout their schooling years from ah. Standard 1 until Form 5. Okay. But we cannot target on any question. Mm -mm. So pupils need to be aware of what's current uh, issues that are among the one that's among trending among them and normally it will be questions that are related to their basic life okay right. and most importantly keep an eye on time because you're given very 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 limited time mm -hmm. to respond and of course last but not least but very important Breathe. Keep you know, breathing. Yes, get that zen. Don't you know? Get too animated, speaking too fast. You might stumble upon your words. Da, da, da. So just keep a good pace. That's why it's very important that you practice because practice makes progress. Progress, mm -hmm. definitely. Okay, and of course, practice makes perfect too. Right. Okay. All right. Now. This is the structure of the test. If you have a look at the slide that I've put up here, there will be three parts in the speaking exam. Okay, the total time that should take and will take is between 12 to a maximum of 15 minutes mm -hmm. because examiners cannot sit and wait and wait and wait because we have to be fair to all the pupils around Malaysia. When you are sitting for your real SPM speaking test, you will get the same questions as you will get to those pupils who are in Kelantan or in Pahang, mm -hmm. all right? And the timing is the same. So the examiners and the interlocutors must keep to the time. So within 12 to 15 minutes maximum, 
All right, you'll get three parts. Part one is just a warm-up part where you'll be asked basic questions, okay, to get you comfortable. Because I know a lot of people will find speaking very, very daunting and they are shy. Mm -hmm. So we'll ask them simple, basic warm-up questions, okay. And when you move on to part two and part three, that's where you will be given marks, okay. Mm -hmm. All right, I will explain more about the structure in detail as we go into each part. But for now, I would like to get some of my pupils to start them to warm up. Okay, let's have Tivia. Right. Okay, these are some basic questions. Imagine Tivia, I'm your examiner now. Mm -hmm. Hello, good afternoon. Uh, I'm Cikgu Halimatul and this is my colleague, Cikgu Shafika. She'll just listen to us. All right. First of all, we'd like to know something about you. Candidate A, what's your name? Hello, teacher. My name is Tibia Lakshmi Pubal Singham. Thank you. And candidate B, okay, let's have Shwenli as candidate B. What's your name, candidate B? Hello, I'm Lao Shen Lin. All right. Candidate A, where do you come from? I'm from Puchong, Padana. All right, thank you very much. And candidate B, how do you come to school? Uh, I come to school by my own. My dad sends me to school every day by car. All right, thank you very much. Okay, right. so and after that, there will be a second phase where we ask basic questions and simple questions as you can see here on the screen. And normally, this is something that the teachers usually should do with their pupils in the classroom when they do the speaking activity or the speaking lesson with them. All, All right. right. Teacher Halimato, that was an example of uh, mm -hmm. a skit of what actually happens in speaking uh, examination, right? There would be an interlocutor, that was yes. you, and an examiner who just sits and watch yes. like me just yes. now. All right, we'll be going for more uh, practices after this, so stay tuned to Success SPM 2022. d TV, KPM. d TV, KPM. Hi, welcome back to Success SPM 2022 with me, Shafika, and also teacher Halimadul for Bahasa Inggris Speaking Skill. And for this segment, we are going to be focusing on practice because practice makes progress, like teacher yes. said just now. So, um, what is the first thing that we need to practice on for the segment, our teacher? All right, for this particular segment, which is phase two of the speaking test, all right, this is where you pupils or candidates as we will address uh, the pupils when they are sitting for the test, the candidates will be assessed from here on. Just now, in the first phase, it was just a warm-up to get you to feel comfortable with the interlocutor and also the examiner. And from now on, phase two and phase three, you will be assessed. Okay, I'll get right back to what you mentioned before mm -hmm. the end uh, of the show of just now. All right. uh, she mentioned about an interlocutor and also an examiner. Okay, just to remind all the pupils again, the interlocutor is the teacher who teaches you English. Normally, that's how the arrangement is like. So, for example, I teach two Form 5 classes at my school. Mm -hmm. So, I will be the interlocutor for my pupils unless I am asked to go out to be the assessor at a different school. Right. Now, the roles of the interlocutor and the assessor are more or less the same. Now, they are both teachers and be very, very mindful and remember, both teachers will award marks, mm -hmm. total of 24. Six will come from the interlocutor and the rest comes from the assessor. So even though you think the assessor is just sitting there quietly, listening, not saying a single word, not even a peep, mm -hmm. she will be, or she or he, I'm sorry, she or he will be giving you the bulk of the marks. The interlocutor, your teacher, only gives you six marks, which mm. totals up to 24. All, All right. right. So both of them are very important and only one will be doing the speaking. Uh, and they will follow a script, as I have showed to Shafika just now. Mm -hmm. Okay, the script here is provided by the exam syndicate, lembaga peperiksaan, and all the interlocutor must 
follow exactly what's given on the script. We can prompt. So if you are stuck, you get a situation, you're not really sure on how to respond, there are a few scripts a few questions that we can ask, but they are very, very, very limited. Mm -hmm. And the interlocutor cannot, excuse me, they're not allowed to uh, add extra information to get their pupils to speak. This is because we want to be fair to all of the pupils, all the candidates who are sitting for the speaking test. So right. it's very important for you to practice because practice makes perfect, perfect. and progress. And <laughs> progress, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, okay, so let's move on to again. I showed this just now to everybody. All right. But this is very specific. We are looking at part two individual response you will be paired you it doesn't matter how you are paired depends on your school for us at my school we follow according to the name list because we have so many pupils and mm -hmm. it's very difficult to pair them with whoever they like so from now on pupils especially from five if you already know who your pair is you should start working together so you get a good partnership between partnership between the two of you so you get comfortable and especially during the um, discussion part, part three, which I will talk more on later, you need to show the natural flow of discussion. Okay. Mm -hmm. So for individual response, you'll get basic questions uh, that are very, very common to you. You will start with candidate A, you will start first, and candidate B listens. And you can even use your friend's cues or responses when you are asked to respond to the same question. So both candidates will be speaking, but the bulk of the answer will be coming from candidate A. So when candidate B is speaking, candidate A will listen, and candidate A will also respond to a question. Okay. All right, girls, so far, uh, I'm sorry, it's quite a bit of information that mm -hmm. you're listening. I hope everything's okay so far. Everyone, all right? Give me a thumbs up if everything, all if right. everything's okay. Let's see your thumbs up. Yes, wonderful, great. A lot okay. of information, but very yes, useful. Yes, mm -hmm. and I will be repeating them over and over again. All okay? right. All right. So let's try and have a simulation of the actual exam. Okay. Right. So Shunlin, you'll be candidate A. Uh, I'm pairing you with Tivia. Tivia, your candidate B. Mm -hmm. Doshrina, your candidate A. And you are paired with Vinosha, your candidate B. Okay, Vinosha? Okay, let's start with uh, the pair, the first pair, Shunlin and Tivia. All right. Oh. All right. So I'm going to read. I'm actually going to read from the script. Mm -hmm. In this part of the test, I'm going to give each of you a topic. And I'd like you to talk about it on your own for about a minute. You also need to answer a question briefly about your partner's topic. Okay, so time is very important. So if the interlocutor says you are given a minute, you will be given a minute and we will have our stopwatch. But today I forgot to get my stopwatch, so I'll be using my handphone okay. as a stopwatch. All okay, right. and when I do it in my class with my pupils, that's what I use. Mm -hmm. You will be timed. Okay, so be very careful of the time. All right, for All the right. first one, uh, first round, actually, we have Xuan Lin yeah. as uh, candidate A and yeah. Tivia as candidate B, right? Okay. Sure. Candidate mm. A, it's your turn first. Here's your task. I'd like you to talk about a birthday gift that you would buy for a friend. First, you have some time to think about what you're going to say. So this is where I give them 20 seconds. Okay. okay. All right, 20 seconds. And I'm really yeah. timing them, as mm -hmm. you can see. <laughs> yeah. All right. So as you can see on mm -hmm. the screen, there are four questions there to help her to think of ideas. For able pupils, no problem. But ah. for pupils who really need the time or help, these questions should get them to think of ideas to speak. Okay, okay. so these four points are uh, must uh, yes. be referred to. Yes, ah, to I help. See. Okay. okay, all right. Okay, right. candidate A, it's your turn now. You have a minute to talk about the birthday gift that you'd buy. All right. Candidate A? Xuan Lin, your um, time has yes. started. All right. So, um, since my birthday's friend is like my my friend's birthday is around the corner, 
I would buy a notebook for her mm-hmm. because uh, recently she she is going to sit for her SP at her child SPM child exam lately, so she needs a she need a few notebook to write her in order to write notes for the subjects that she is taking and also to prepare her well for the child exam. I would buy in popular bookstore, which is uh, the nearest popular bookstore. I would buy in the nearest popular bookstore, which is in LI Mall. And All I, right, thank I you very much. It. Yes, oh, yeah. thank you very much. The time is up. Yes, normally when the time is up, we will... Um, if the students or the pupils or the candidates are, you know, stuttering, yeah, we'll try and find uh, the right or the right timing, the right time to mm-hmm. jump in to tell them, okay, it's time for All you right. to finish off your sentence. So, okay. All right. Thank you very much, candidate A, for mm-hmm. that response. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, candidate B, what about you? What gift would you buy for your friend? Uh, for my friend, I would buy a, the series of Harry Potter because my friend is a big fan of Harry Potter. Plus, she loves the Slytherin. She's a big fan of Slytherin house. So, I would buy a, I would buy the series of Harry Potter books. All right. With, with thank you very much. Page. Yes, thank you very much for that response. Mm-hmm. Okay, so that's basically it. I see. All right, for candidate A. So now let's move on to you, candidate B. Mm-hmm. Here is your task. I'd like you to talk about a place that you would like to visit in the future. First, you have some time to think about what you're going to say. Mm-hmm. 20 seconds, 20 seconds. Ding-tong. All right. So they have about 20 seconds? Yes. Here? Can okay. you imagine just 20 seconds to prepare, looking at the questions uh-huh. that's on their booklet? Mm-hmm. Okay. So just to, to ask you uh, on a clearer scale, uh, so these four are just as guidance, but you don't have to cover all four. Yeah, we don't need to. Ah, yeah, you I don't see. need to. Yeah. Okay. All right, that's mm-hmm. 20 seconds up for you. Are you ready, Tivia? Okay, now you have a minute to talk about a place that you would like to visit in the future. Uh, I would like to go to Germany. Actually, it's not a place, it's a country. The reason why I like Germany is that... I don't know why, because of the... Uh, the, um, the word Germany is like a... My, the country Germany is like my dream country, so... When the moment I have to think like the best country is that the Germany. And then Germany is well known for sports tools production like Adidas, the brand, the famous brand. So the, my favorite sneakers and sports shoes is Adidas. So I want to go to Germany. <laughs> I want to visit the Germany once, at least once. And... Uh, uh, Alright, is that all? Okay, thank you very much for that response, candidate okay. B. Okay, now right. candidate A, what about you? Where would you like to go in the future for a holiday? Mm-hmm. I would like to go to Japan for a holiday. Uh, why I would like to go to Japan is because Japan is well known for its um, its scenery and its special and its culture. Mm-hmm. And I also heard that people there are quite polite All and right. yes. known as well mannered. Yeah. Okay. So I would like to go and experience that myself. Okay. I hope you will for both of you. Thank you very much, candidates. Okay. Oh, Actually, right. in the real exam, mm-hmm. I cannot say such things. I cannot say I hope you will visit Japan. Yes, that's kind of yes, like a we have to motivation. The mm-hmm. Okay. We will do the practice with the other two candidates later on. Yes. But uh, as uh, I just want to reiterate before we end this particular segment mm-hmm. that as you can see just now from the performances of the two girls, they didn't really follow or respond to all the questions, but you can do so if you find that it's difficult for you to think of ideas. Okay, right, that's a good all tip, right. a yes. great tip for you to follow and keep in mind, right? We're going for a short break as usual and we'll be right back here on DD TV KPM. DD TV.
TV KPM Dede TV KPM all right, you're still tuned in to Did It TV's Success SPM 2022 with me, Shafika, and also Teacher Halimatu. Today, we are focusing on Bahasa Inggris for speaking a skill. And now, uh, Teacher, what is the uh, focus for this segment now? Okay, this particular segment focuses on the third part of the test, which is the discussion between the pair. Just now, in the second segment, as mm -hmm. you saw, our first pair, Xuanlin and Tivia, yes, okay, um, they listened to each other's situation. They had two separate situations and they listened in as their friend presented and they also responded to the same or the similar question as what they heard. Okay, so that was individual, all right? All right. And Mark's have already been given at that point. So I'm going to repeat again. Phase one, no marks, but phases two and three, marks is already given. Okay. okay. Now, coming to marks, okay, how are marks being awarded? Obviously, all the examiners, assessors, interlocutors, they have gone. Last year, we already had our um, in-house training okay, mm -hmm. uh, given by trainers and the trainers got the information from the exam syndicate from Lembaga Peperiksaan. We have a set criteria okay, that we have to study through and be able to understand before we start awarding marks. Now, there are four um, options or four different criteria that we look at. The interlocutor only gives six marks for overall performance. Okay, overall performance includes how the candidate uh, present the points, confidence, grammar, vocabulary, everything. Okay, only six marks. So we have the set criteria. I cannot share uh, them with you because uh, we are not allowed to. But I'm pretty sure your teachers at school will inform you of all the main points or main criteria that we look out for. Mm -hmm. Okay, Shafika. All right. All right. Okay, next, the assessor will look at three different uh, set of criteria. Grammar, vocabulary, and also content. All right? So content refers to your points that you present. Grammar obviously refers to how well you know your grammar, your vocabulary. All right? And also... What was the other one? Overall performance, grammar, vocabulary, content. Okay, mm -hmm. Vocabulary refers to the choice of words that you use when you present your ideas. Okay, So that's how, in general, very basic, how the assessors and the interlocutors will assess each candidate Okay, right. within a span of 12 to 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we are at our third phase. Okay, or part three of our test, as you can see on the slide, you or each candidate will get three questions, okay, which is merged into one idea or one topic, and it's pair work. So you have to work together, you have to talk to each other, and you must cooperate to know your roles. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, what do I mean when I talk about roles? It's as, it's as simple as, imagine it this way, to make it easy for you guys. If you um, ring your friend, you want to talk to your friend, you call or you go over to her house and you want to talk about a topic. Let's say, uh, can you give me a current trending topic at the moment? Um, uh, football. Football, mm -hmm. okay. So I go to your place and say, hey, what do you think about yesterday's match? I will have to initiate. Right. I will have to start. Yeah, Shafika, did you watch the match last night? No, I didn't. I missed oh, it. Oh, you missed it. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. You should have watched it. And then we will start our interaction. Right. right. So that's what people or candidates, you need to do. You need to have that pair work and roles. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, this is a test and you are given situations, but there's nothing wrong with you trying to start talking about basic things among your 
your partner, if you already know who your partner is, just spend every day in class, one minute, two minutes, talk to each other mm -hmm. about current trends or whatever it is, the current gossip, who's dating who, I don't know. All right. Okay? All right. And if you look at the screen, there should be a natural, a good natural flow of exchanges, turn taking, as what you saw Shafika and mm -hmm. I did just now. I didn't really have to wait for her to respond. Mm -hmm. She just responded naturally because we were talking on the same topic. topic. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right? And you have to keep the interaction going for two minutes. Right. Okay? All right. Now, if you look at the next table, for two minutes, you're going to talk to each other. All right? And for the next minute, you are going to decide between each other which main idea or main point related to the topic given is what you agree upon. Mm -hmm. Okay, And in purple, you will get a final higher order thinking skill questions that's related to the topic that you have talked about. Okay? All right. All right so let's take a look at what our situation is going to be for today. Okay, candidates, mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to start with our second pair, Doshrina and Vinosha. All right, so I'm going to read the script now. Now, I'd like you to talk about something together for about three minutes. The task will have two parts. In the first part, you will discuss something with each other for about two minutes. Then... In the second part, you will have another minute to make a decision together. All right? Let's begin with the discussion task. Online shopping is gaining popularity in our country. Here are some reasons why people shop online and a question for you to discuss. First, you have some time to look at the task. Okay, mm -hmm. so now they have... 20 seconds also between the two of them. Oh. So in this 20 seconds, before I press the start button, so girls, wait dulu, ah. just wait, all right? Mm -hmm. uh, you should discuss with each other quietly, but in English, please try not to use your mother tongue uh -huh. to decide on. There are six options there. Who's going to talk about no trends? Okay, Vinosha? All right? Who's going to talk about better prices? All right, Doshrina? So there are six. Now... You do not need to talk about all six points, mm -hmm. okay? Because the key to getting a good mark for content, Shafika, right. is to be able to not just simply say, oh, people shop online because they follow the trend, and then you just stop there. Mm. You need to add on, elaborate with ideas. Right. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Girls, any questions so far? You know what you need to do? Doing good. Okay. Yes. So there are six points to help them to talk about why people shop online. And now I'm going to give you 20 seconds to prepare for the discussion part. You have 20 seconds. All right. Now, when we talk about the two minutes time that they have to have the conversation, mm -hmm. in a daily life, two minutes is not enough to have a conversation. Exactly. So it should come naturally. Yes, This is exactly. something, like you said, we have to practice. Mm. Mm. And of course, we have to give these pupils some kind of... Um, in Malay, I would like to use the term masa kecederaan, you know, uh, simply means this is an exam, a mm. test. And even though I have had experience with even natural good speakers, candidates who are good speakers, but because it's an exam, they get jitters, mm. you know, they have their points, but suddenly on the exam day, they are not able to respond. Bring out the points. Yes, right. so okay. that's why need to practice. Mm -hmm. All right, okay, that's enough time, more than 20 seconds, but it's okay, <laughs> okay, because we are practicing. Mm -hmm. All right, now, talk to each other about the reasons why people shop online. All right, Doshrina and Venosha. Hey, Doshrina, why do you, do you prefer online shopping? Uh, yes, I do prefer online shopping. What about you, Vinesha? Yeah, I do prefer online shopping too. Why do you prefer online shopping? I do prefer online shopping because it has no crowds at all. Uh, online shopping, if you go like, uh, you buy stuff through online, 
you don't have to wait in a long queue and everything and especially during celebrations like Deepavali, Hari Raya and Chinese New Year's there will be lots of people who want to buy clothes and all so I think I could avoid crowds what about you Vinasha? I agree with you I agree with your point I, I prefer online shopping because it is time saving it is very convenient to be to do online shopping at home you can do it right at your place like at your at your bed for example it is very in time saving you can do it anytime i do you? agree with you i do agree with you because we can just like you know sleep in our bed with our pajamas on <laughs> and then you know just look through or go, go through all that i also think online shopping saves our money because they have a lots of offers like the 11 11 sale and the 12 12 sales and all you get so much of offers and discounts so i think they have better prices and the quality of online shopping the clothes are actually quite good compared to the normal ones what do you think about it Indonesia? yeah true we can save a lot of money by shopping online online shopping has also a lot of varieties different different varieties at different different platforms for example lazada has a different type of clothes and shopee has different designs of clothes so we can choose whatever in our preference to get nice clothes nice designs for our occasions or any functions all right you thank you very that. much candidates yes that was a wonderful response from you both mm -hmm. okay now candidates a and b you have about a minute to decide together which is the most popular reason people shop online. You have a minute to decide. All right. I do think uh, the, the, the most, like, mostly people buy through online because it is cheap. Because like if you go and buy it, uh, you just go and buy it normally from the mall. It, it is quite expensive and they don't have much choice. And like the shoes that you actually want, maybe like you want a blazer or something, it costs like 90 ringgit there. But then if you go and check online through Shades or Lazada, it is only 40 ringgit. So what about, what do you think, Yerusha? I think online shopping I prefer online shopping because it's time saving. We can do it anytime while we are on work or any leave. So we don't have to take our cars and go to a mall, find for a shop and buy. We can just get it through online. So I think it's time saving. You can do it anytime, anywhere. Yeah. Need to decide. Yeah, so, so, <laughs> so which one do you prefer? I prefer it is cheap. Because like I, I don't mind like you know spending my time. But then it, if it is cheap, then I I think it is worth it. So what do you think? Yeah. Okay. And then I like, I will go with that so because it's also a very important point that it's we can save our money uh, via online shopping. All right. Thank you very much, candidates. Mm -hmm. Okay. Before we end the test, I have a question for you both. We'll start with candidate A. In what ways does advertising on social media influence people's buying behaviour? In what ways does advertising on social media influence people's buying behaviour? We'll start with you, candidate A. Okay, so uh, the clothes that you find online is it is quite cool and it's following the trend. So people will like uh, people will be very interested to buy it and moreover they might ask some models to advertise it so so the uh, people like us will be like oh wow she looks good on it so I will be look I will look good on it too you feel that and sometimes they will even call some actors who we like and knows so they'll be like oh my god Millie Bobby Brown is wearing it so I should wear it too so you feel that so I think this is why this affecting our behavior. Okay, thank you very much, candidate A. Candidate B, what about you? In what ways does advertising on social media 
influence people's buying behavior. Advertising in social media, uh, when they adv advertise through um, celebrities or any an entrepreneurs or anybody, they advertise through them. It will it will take more place in people's heart because okay. people uh, tend to follow people uh, other people's way of dressing. So people like us will try to follow other people's trend like if it's more prettier, more beautiful. So we'll try to find them through online because we can't get it at the shops. So we'll try to find them at online. So we that is how advertisement influences. influences. Okay, thank you very much, candidates. That's the end of the test. Wow. Okay. All right. So to be honest, um, mm -hmm. both of them mm -hmm. um, ran over the time. So that tells me, I mean, they're still in Form 4, so it's okay. But you girls did really super awesome for all of them, okay? Mm -hmm. In Part 2, we had Shwenlin and Tivia. And in Part 3, we had Doshrina and Vinosha. Uh, it's just that from now on, you guys need to work on your timing. So it's quite helpful. So this is a tip for you guys out there. I'm going to repeat it again later in our last segment. It's quite helpful for you to have your own timer. Maybe a watch, a digital watch, mm -hmm. if you can. So that when you start talking, you are aware of the time. Sometimes if you speak for only 30 seconds, that's not enough to get the marks that you deserve. Mm -hmm. All right? So if you speak too long or too short, it won't be a good thing for both of you, for both candidates, okay? All right, All right. teacher, that was a great example of what happens in the real test. Now, I believe uh, one of our pupils also demonstrated how uh, important it was to breathe and remain calm. Yes. That was, uh, I saw from Roshrina, she was very calm in answering. Good job in that. Uh, All right, we'll be going for a short break now and we'll be right back here on Success SVM 2022. Didik TV, KPM. Didik TV, KPM. Welcome back to Success SPM 2022 with me, Shafika, and also Teacher Halimatul for Bahasa Inggris Speaking Skill. Now, um, this is the moment you've been waiting for, viewers, because we are going to be sharing tips and trick, tricks when speaking. Now, I believe Teacher Halimatul has already shared numerous amount of tips, but this is the ones to address your concerns now. Uh, Teacher Halimatul, you can take the floor. Thank you very much, my lovely and always beautiful host, Shafika. Thank you. All right, okay. Um, just before we ended the third segment just now, I think I saw Xuanlin putting up her, Lin putting up her hand. Uh, do you have a question for mm -hmm. me, Xuanlin? Uh, yes, yep. I, mm -hmm. I do, Teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, my question is, I would like to confirm that is the time allocated for part two one minute mm -hmm. and the time allocated for part three three minutes? Okay, thank you very much. That's a very good question. Mm -hmm. Yes, you are correct. For part two, which is the individual response, each of the candidates will only get one minute per candidate. All right, Shunli and girls, the rest of you. Mm -hmm. So just now you're talking about a birthday gift, what to buy. So looking at all the questions that were given to you, you only have one minute to talk about what gift you want to get, where you're going to get it from, why you want to buy it and why birthdays are important, okay, if you respond to the questions. So you only have exactly a minute and you will be timed. And when the question is posed, the same question is posed to candidate B who is listening, Okay. Uh, normally, we'll give about 30 seconds, not more than a minute. And the candidate who is listening in, usually the response is a lot shorter. Okay, But you both are assessed at that time. Mm -hmm. All right. So as I have mentioned earlier in the beginning, must speak up when you are asked. Okay, girls? All right. All right. Next, part three. Yes, you have a total of three minutes for the both of you during the discussion part, okay? You will be discussing as what Doshrina and Tivia did just now. Mm -hmm. They took turns. It was quite natural in my opinion. Uh, maybe I think you guys need to practice a lot more. Um, 
that discussion part is just two minutes. And as you notice, as soon as I ended the discussion, uh, I gave the instruction to the girls to decide. You only have a minute to decide. Okay, so now I'm going to stop for a bit here just to explain. Okay, when you decide on uh, who is going to say which point and which point are we going to decide on, there are six points, right, Shafika? Mm -hmm. right. right. So there are six points given to the topic. Mm -hmm. So this is where some kind of planning, okay, some kind of planning should be done before the test. So for example, I know who my pet is. Let's say we are pet together, Shafika. Oh, you, you know beforehand? Yes, oh, you will know. Great. Yes, okay. you will. Because pupils need to practice. Okay, It's mm -hmm. not like suddenly, oh, you're going to be pet last minute. No, it's not ah, going to work. I see. Okay? All right. So let's say um, Shafika and I, we are pet and we have a plan. Mm -hmm. Okay, Shafika, we have one minute. I will ask you, which point is the main point and you give a response mm -hmm. and I will give one response all right but it's my response that you are going to agree with ah. Do you understand what I mean okay, yes, girls? I know. yes? Mm -mm. Ah, so there must be some kind of um, understanding or planning so that you can come to a decision naturally without having to no I think this is no I disagree it's going to be dragging no, ah yes it's going to be dragging mm. okay and these pupils they need to employ all the phrases that you need to show that you understand the interaction as you can see on the slide that I show uh, and I'm going to show a little bit more detail okay you need to know phrases like, in my opinion, I believe, and what do you say? What phrases do you use when you want to disagree? Mm -hmm. Okay? So, everybody, if you have a look at the hyperlink that I'm going to share now. Okay? So, these are some sample phrases that you can use. But before that, let's just go through very quickly. When you speak, you need to remember that speaking is great. Wow. Yes. What is great, mm -hmm. girls? If you can see the screen, great, G for greet. Don't forget to greet your examiners. If they say good morning, you should respond good morning. All right. Respond to what? Respond to questions, opinions, say thank you and give appropriate feedback. Okay. And you can always repeat your partner's idea to reiterate and to also help you come up with your own ideas. Mm -hmm. Elaborate and expand ideas. Now I'm going to touch on some of the performances that the girls did just now. Um, they would be scoring a lot better in content if they added more examples. Just now, one of them mentioned about, oh, better prices. Mm -hmm. And she gave an example about doing it on Shopee, etc. But maybe if you can give a real life example. For example, yesterday I saw on that particular website, it was selling at da 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 da, -da price. And then before buying it, I decided to ask my friend. And she saw da 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 da, -da you know? Okay, girls, you see what I mean? So if you add on a bit more, you will get more marks for content okay and turn taking be alert yes a is for alert and i think all of them were alert today they were very aware of what the questions were and turn taking and i think they all did beautifully well in turn taking but it can be a lot more smoother if they do practice mm -hmm. if they practice among themselves okay how to turn take so here are some expressions that uh, is commonly used when you are talking to each other. Introduce yourself. There are some practice, some examples here. I think you guys uh, at home can see. I don't really need to go through all the examples here. And if you want to make a point, you can say things like, my main point is, okay, give an example. For example, I would like to suggest. And if you are asking for an opinion, what do you think? And I heard the girls doing that just now, okay? And if you disagree, okay, so it's just the opposite to agreeing. I totally disagree. I don't think so. It's okay to show disagreement, mm -hmm. especially in the discussion part uh, when you need to decide, all right? You can show partial agreement or disagreement when you are discussing on which point you want to choose 
which is related to the topic that you were talking about. Right, for us just now, we were talking about which is the main reason why people shop online. Right. Okay. So there are so many other functions in the parts of speech. And of course, you don't really need to memorize them all because, ladies and gentlemen, pupils all around Malaysia, you already know all these phrases. Mm -hmm. These are phrases that we use in our daily life. Oh, that's an interesting topic. Oh, I agree with what you say. And in the end, I would just like to highlight here a bit. The person who is controlling the situation, you need to conclude the discussion. So just now, Shafika and I, we have a plan. I'm the playmaker. So it's kind of like a football thingy right. going around. Uh -huh. I'm the playmaker. So I'm the one who's directing the discussion. And when Shafika decides to agree with my point, that's when I will say a few, just one or two sentences I can start off with. In conclusion, we both agree in a nutshell. We agree that better prices is the main reason why people shop online. Right, teacher okay. Himato. All right. Those are very good tips and uh, tricks to excel in your Bahasa English speaking uh, test. And also for those of you who uh, still has to have be, to be reminded, it's twenty five percent of the whole wage. Yes, yes. All right. Thank you, teacher Halimato, for sharing us your knowledge and all the formulas to excel in this paper. And also, uh, teacher Shamila for being our sign language interpreter. For those of you sitting for the Bahasa English test. Good luck to you, especially uh, in your speaking uh, test. So, until we meet again, Assalamualaikum and Salam Sejahtera. Bye!